So let's look at a very interesting and potentially deeply undervalued game company. Okay, first off, read this disclaimer carefully. And we go to one of the megatrends called interactive entertainment. So this is, you know, the gaming industry. Looking at the performance here, it is massively outperforming the S&P 500, it is, and it is also higher than the average of the megatrends. So definitively an industry with some big, big moves. We will look at a very contrarian play here. So this is definitively high risk, but potentially high reward. And that is CD Projekt Red. They are a um, you know video game company that are, they are diversified in the sense that they they create games and interactive ent entertainment content on multiple platforms, distance from fifty two week low and fifty two week highs. So the what is a bit tricky here is that we have to analyze uh, the chart based on what we have on the Warsaw Stock Exchange. However, there is. Uh, an ADR, which enables uh, international investors to get exposure. So this is the company's website. Uh, we unfortunately do not, do not have any data on seasonality or uh, even fundamental analysis is very difficult you know, to get here. Uh, at least uh, uh, you know, uh, pre-condensed uh, and digested fundamental data. So this is a, this is the company's website. They have a lot of you know extremely uh, good games, uh, very famous for the Witcher series, and they have a new you know super blockbuster game called Cyberpunk twenty seventy seven. So this is you no, know, it was a highly highly anticipated game, but the problem is that it was simply too advanced for the current generation of consoles. So it's bug ridden. It simply doesn't work for, well, what is actually becoming the previous generation of consoles. But when it comes to, you know, the PlayStation 5 and the Xbox Series X and S, it works. So if we go here to the investor relations page, you know, we do have some data here. So this is the latest uh, report we get from them. So let's first uh, look at the charts and then we will try to dive a bit into the, rep the, to the report. So let's now look at um, the stock as it is listed on the Warsaw Stock Exchange. We have to do that because we have way too little data uh, from um, uh, the ADR. Okay. But if you do want to get into the ADR, you just go there, CD Pro. So here is the ticker and the name for the, for the over-the-counter uh, ADR. And that is OTGLI CD Project Red SA. Um, there's no point in analyzing that one because we just we, we don't really have any data. But yeah, in, in case you cannot get access to this stock through uh, your your broker platform, the uh, over the counter would be then be you know the option. Okay. So the thing is that because uh, the launch of Cyberpunk was a disaster. It would it was littered with bugs. It simply didn't work on the previous generation of consoles, you know, the PlayStation 4 and the Xbox One. Um, the stock has fallen big time, a lot. However, they are really good at making games. Uh, Cyberpunk is a really good game. Uh, those who have played it on the PC and you know the next gen consoles, they really do enjoy the game. Hence, there's good reason uh, to be bullish on that game's ability to sell. What is interesting is that the you know there's been a lot of problems uh, getting you know the next gen consoles into the hands of customers because there's been you know a global semiconductor supply shortage. That shortage is uh, gradually gradually now being resolved, and there's a lot of talk about. It being much easier to gain get access to you know the next gen consoles in the coming months. That is potentially bullish here. Okay, so the, so the, so the thesis, the hypothesis here is that this could be the or close to the uh, doom and gloom lows for a CD Projekt Red. Uh, the interesting thing, uh, you know, is that symbolically. 
we are testing the red 200 week moving average right here and right now. That is interesting. Uh, what is even more interesting is that when we look here at the RSI, it, it, we are at one, at one of the lowest levels we have ever been on the weekly RSI. So there's extreme pessimism currently about the stock, doom and gloom, there's class action lawsuits, there's all kinds of things. But that is known, that is baked into this price, and the market is forward looking. So it's terrible. Yeah, this, the situation is just terrible, but is it max terrible? When we look here at, you know, the fall here from uh, Grace, if we take this high to the recent uh, low, minus 53%, just to get back here to um, the highs we fell from, that would be, you know, 114% gain. And let's be perfectly clear, they are, Cyber, Cyberpunk is a good game. Yes, they did release it way too early, it was a very bad decision, they got punched big time. But it is one of the very few, you know, real next-gen games out there. If you are getting a next-gen console, it, you know, you, d you don't have that many options. You, you, you are kind of stuck playing uh, Cyberpunk, and which is bullish for Cyberpunk. So yeah, looking at accumulation distrib distribution, it is not looking that uh, good. Uh, but if we do go here to the daily data points, and here of course we do have you no know, this deteriora deterioration, people are just dumping shares. However, we are seeing some kind of build up here. So there is a divergence between the price and the AD. So there are buyers, could potentially be some you know bargain hunters uh, already uh, nibbling a bit at these uh, shares, at these very depressed levels. Looking at you know the PPO, which measures the distance uh, from the 200-day moving average in red, uh, we have almost never been this pessimistic. RSI is also in a very low range. You could argue that there is some horizontal support levels. Uh, we are testing this one here, uh, here you can see, and here, and also back here. You know you could start to make that case. Looking at the correla correlation with S&P 500, it is minus 83%. On the da daily data points, on the weeklies, it is uh, only 55% positive. But definitely this uh, major crash has had an impact. Okay. So to sum up my take here on CD Project Red. Uh, the problem here is that the latest report, uh, financial report here I get is from Q3 2020. Uh, that is this one. The period between 1st of July and 30th of September 2020, which doesn't help us, you know, that much. So yeah, yeah, a lot of unknowns here, but uh, definitively, as far as you know, the bad the news uh, being priced into the, this stock, a lot of it is priced in. Uh, I think that what could be a catalyst, certainly for a major rally, is that. The, the issues with, you know, the, um, the, co the next-gen consoles being manufactured, it, it seems to gradually now be resolved. April and May and the coming months will look way better. Hence, people will be able to get access. Uh, Cyberpunk is the only really next-gen game out there. So, yeah, yes, I do think that this company will uh, make it through it. Uh, this, is, uh, this is, you know, uh, the game of uh, buying low and selling high. So I'm not going to say that this is the ultimate low for CD Projekt Red, but this this definitively is not a, any situation where you are at the risk of buying buying uh, the highs. Okay. Uh, this is this is doom and gloom. Um, so it it, it this, it's interesting to look at this company uh, for bullish uh, opportunities, because there will be a bottom. There just will be a bottom for this company. And I think the, and the, and the bottom is on the horizon.